In this video, I am going to show you GST Sense e-invoicing integration for Tally Prime. Here are the key features of the integration. We provide end-to-end -end integration with Tally. You do not have to leave, leave Tally for any of your e-invoicing requirements. In a single click, you can generate e-invoices for multiple vouchers. We have fine-grained user and voucher security control, so you can have a maker checker model where one user prepares the voucher and somebody else can approve the e-invoice generation. We support all the document types necessary for e-invoicing. You can generate both e-invoices and e-wables as well as B2C e-wables. Print the invoice with the QR code, both B2C QR code and B2B QR code directly from Tally Digitally sign your invoices and you can send an email of the invoice or an SMS along the invoice and acknowledgement to your customer. GST Zen provides a central dashboard to monitor the invoice status of all your locations and all your tallies and we have extensive reconciliation and reports. Let's now get to the live demo. Here I have Tally Prime open and I have our company GST is an e-invoice private limited. On the right hand side in the gateway of tally menu there is a menu here called GST is an prime. Let me enter this menu. I further enter B2B e-invoice. I have the option to view the e-invoice register, the list of generated invoices, those pending for generation and also the list of cancelled invoices. I am going to the e-invoice register. Let me choose the correct date. Yeah, you can see e-invoices, the vouchers color coded, once in green indicate that the e-invoice and e wable have been generated, those in blue indicate that e-invoice has been generated and once in black are pending generation of e-invoice. Let me open one of these vouchers. Here you can see this is a regular tally voucher with the date, the party, it is uh, has a CGST, SGST details, a round off. Most importantly, you can see that there is IRN field and this IRN field is not provided here, which means the e-invoice is not yet generated. Let me come back to this uh, daybook. I select this particular voucher and I have to click on upload e-invoice button. Once I click on this menu option, you will see how quickly that the e-invoice was generated and this particular voucher becomes blue in color. Let me go inside. And you can see that the IRN is generated. Um, this is the IRN number and here is the status. In fact, I can now print this invoice directly from Tally. Let me choose the print option. And you can see the voucher displayed on the screen. Here, this is the QR code that we received from the government portal. Here is the IRN number. Here is the invoice number and invoice date. So this is how long it took to generate one e-invoice and take a look at it. In fact, there are a few more vouchers here. One of them is an export. Let me just select these and I can select multiple and say upload e-invoice. You can see the menu, uh, the progress bar showing you that the IRN was generated and these invoices changed blue in color. In fact, one of these already has an e wable generated because we had provided the vehicle number. So you can go and see here, you can see the e wable number, you can also print it and you will see the e wable number in the printout. Yeah, so that's it. So this is how long it takes to generate both e invoices and e wables. Let me complete the entire process and let me cancel the e invoices here. So let me choose the correct date range again. I'll choose today's date. In, I will select two of these documents for cancellation and I'll just say cancel e invoice. If there is an e wable, the software will automatically cancel both the e invoice and the e wable. And you can see one of these got cancelled, and then now yeah, the other got cancelled, and that's pretty much it. Now we can go to the e invoice cancelled list and you can see the documents that I just now generated are cancelled. That brings me to the end.